Hey what's up guys, this is Darth9 and you're watching my Black Ops 2 map tutorial for snipers. Today we're on the map Turbine. If you enjoy this series, please leave a like, it only takes two seconds and it helps me out tremendously. So to start things off, as always, it's going to be a glitch. To get on top of this tree at the back of the map here, all you need to do is get a friend on the enemy team to stand behind the tree, you run up to him and knife. It shouldn't kill your friend, but it'll give you the knife lunge that will shoot you up on top of the tree. Once you get on top, you can put down a tactical insertion, so if you want to jump down or if you die, you can get back up there right away. And yeah, that's basically it. So here you can see what it looks like from the third person perspective in theater mode. As you can see, people aren't going to be able to see you, they're probably not going to expect you up there. But I don't know if I'd suggest you do this in a public match because you could get in trouble, maybe banned or something. But in private matches, it's a pretty cool thing to do just to try out a cool glitch, get on top of the tree, you know. So uh, yeah, let's get on with the rest of the video. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you a pretty popular trick shot spot that people have been using over the last month or so. It allows you to get on top of this rock here, so as you can see it's pretty high up. It allows you to uh, spin around quite a bit and uh, get your trick shots off. So you just hop onto this notch in the door frame here, then jump over to this rock and you can see all the way over to that turret building as well as people going up the broken turbine there. So if it's the last guy in search and destroy and you want to get a kill cam on him, this is a good place to do it. Just hop off and spin, take your shot, and actually you can get on top of this rock as well. There's a wall breach here, but I'm not going to show you because I don't really believe in wall breaches. They're kind of cheap and campy, and it's a good way to get banned too. So um, another way you can get up there, sorry, um, right here, you can climb up here, and it's not quite as high up because you don't get onto this rock where you usually would, but you can still get onto the rock in the middle. So that's just another way to do it if you are interested in that. So. Yeah, um, moving on, I'm going to show you a pretty cool place to put down your tactical insertion in Domination. So if you have them spawn trapped at sea, what I like to do, uh, basically for the whole game in Domination, if I'm going for clips, is go over to the left side of the map, and a really great spot to put your tack down is right here, because if the enemy is coming out of spawn and they cl uh, climb up here, then they're not going to see that tactical insertion in the corner. There's no reason for them to look there. So that's a really good spot to put it, and another good spot is behind this truck. They're not going to notice it there either. I mean, if they're walking by here, there's no way they'll see that. So, yeah, that's uh, where I like to put my tacks on this side. If you have them spawn trapped at sea, sometimes they'll be coming up here or here. So you can go for clips that way. Or you can even just look over and uh, kill them as they're spawning. But you have to make sure you go back and then back in so that they continue spawning there and they don't flip. But, um, yeah, and if you're playing Domination, or sorry, uh, Demolition, they'll be running at you down this bridge quite a bit so you're gonna have to alternate like going like this and you should be able to get some clips like that so yeah if I was spawning at C then uh, what I would do is I would go down the uh, left side of the map well actually I go down either side of the map I'll show you in a second what I mean though and um, actually let me show you this little glitch here so if you climb up here you can uh, walk on an invisible kind of wall I guess and it looks like you're floating from the third person perspective and you can actually peek around this corner and get people who are walking up the turbine so it's not really that useful it's just kind of an interesting thing to do because it looks like you're floating but uh, other than that like it's not that useful you can take a couple more steps and then you fall down so you don't have much room to move but uh, anyways just thought I'd show you that so this is where I put my tactical insertion down if I'm uh, spawn trapping them in A you can get them spawning there or there and if I'm going on the right side of the map, let's see, I'll um, go over here and they shouldn't notice your tactical insertion over here either. And this side actually it might be a bit better than the left side. So put your tack here and you can jump down, get them coming out of that choke point right there. It's a good spot to hit triples and it looks cool when you jump off those rocks and then hit a clip like that. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. That's about it for my uh, turbine tutorial. So if you did enjoy and it helped you out, then leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed yet, then do it if you want to see map tutorials for snipers on different maps. And let me know in the comment section down below what map you want me to do next. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.